Hi YouTubers, just thought I'd show you some of my juveniles there. Okay, it's time for tip of the week. <laughs> Come back later. Ask me one on sport. Right, tip of the week. I learnt a really good thing today. Uh, and it's not really the tip of the week that I wanted to do. But uh, it's a really, really good point. It's for people that have fish rooms and have an airing like I've got that's run by a. that's run with a Paleo single outlet pump. They're very good, those airings. It runs off about 20 watts, so it's very cheap to run. Uh, and I've got something like 20 odd air stones, sponge filters, under gravel filters, all going off one. And what I did notice was in this tank here in particular was that when these juveniles started getting a bit bigger when these juveniles started to get a bit bigger I did notice that they were going to the surface a lot and I thought well that that can't be right that because I've got two air stones going and the external filter there's got quite a flow on the top so they seem to me to be enough air stones going like you know when you go in fish shops and you see a tank about that size that's absolutely chock a block with fish I'm thinking there's something wrong here so the lad at the shop I asked the lad at the shop and he, he says to him he said well what um, how well insulated is your fish room I said well it's pretty good my temperature here inside my fish room is runs uh, I'll just show you look runs at about 68 well therein lies the problem see what's happening is because this room is so well insulated we're getting a build up of carbon dioxide so what my air pump's doing it's just pushing carbon dioxide through the system so the answer to that is put your air pump in a well ventilated spot or put it outside your fish room and then run a pipe inside your fish room so that's what I've done and uh, as you can see they're not gasping for air anymore so it's, it's always a big thing of mine is this oxygenation I do believe that water should be really well oxygenated either through water movement or air stones or you know if you've got a, a sponge filter that does two two things that not only filtrates the water but it aerates it as well I mean that's good oxygenation for your bacteria for your plants for your fish um, and everything else really that's involved with the water so anyway that's that's my tip for the week this week is that if you've got an air ring or, a, or a, an air pump that runs all your tanks put your air pump outside of your fish room or put it in a very very well ventilated spot and then you'll have a better quality of oxygen running through your system okay so that's it for tonight what I am going to do is I am going to post a video tomorrow because I'm setting up the Tanganyika tank so uh, keep watching this space thanks to all my subs great week this week and uh, I've hit two dollars on my YouTube earnings so that's not so bad is it I don't know what I'm going to spend it on anyway cheers guys Happy fishing! Show them jubies again. We'll soon be having to split these up. We've got some fire mouths in there. That's the rich this Mikai. And then we've got some the rich this Eliotis. And we've got a group of uh, Alan Akara hands benches, which that one there looks like it's going to be the dominant male. And then the blue one there, that's a Sana Tilapia White Top Afro. That's got some belting colour, that, for a young'un. Absolutely beautiful. Looking forward to getting some young'uns off that. And I haven't even got a light over the tank there. That's just in just in natural light, that. What lovely colours that's going to be. I'll just update you on my Auroras. Let's put a bit of light on here just to show you, look. How healthy they are, doing really well. 
just starting to colour up now getting a little bit of yellow on the underbellies um, I think the um, interrupters are just a bit small yet but as you can see the, uh, the auroras are starting to get a lovely bit of colour now I've only had them about a week so they're going to colour up lovely when they're done okay that's it cheers guys